Why? How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Luke's Reviews. On today's video, I will be reviewing Robin Hood, starring Taron Egerton, Jamie Foxx and Ben Mendelsohn. I can't wait to get started with this one. Robin Hood opens with this narration from Tim Minchin as Friar Tuck going, You think you know the story? You think you know the bedtime tale? Think again. I feel like someone should have said exactly that to the director, because the end result feels as if it was made by someone who watched a bite-sized version of Robin Hood condensed into about 15 minutes and then was told, here's $150 million, make a Robin Hood movie. <laughs> Oh boy, this is messy. I'll start with my positives, because there are so few. <laughs> Taron Egerton continues to impress me and is more than capable in a leading man role. And as the infamous Robin Hood, he's he's fine, he's alright with what he's been given. Even if the movie itself does treat him more like a superhero rather than the traditional outlaw. At the very least, you can tell that he's trying. He actually cares about the film. Why? I have no idea, because... The rest of the cast are terrible. I also don't think this movie has bad intentions. I just think that they went out in the hopes of making a fun, entertaining Robin Hood movie, but the execution really let them down. The plot, if you can call it that, follows Lord Robin Loxley as he goes off and fights in the Crusades, has a bit of a disagreement with the side he's fighting on, comes back to England and find that his town is basically under the control of the Sheriff of Nottingham. I mean, you know, for a film basing itself on this is not the story you're familiar with, uh, it's pretty much following the exact same beats of every Robin Hood movie ever. It's just bad. I feel like the saying should have been this is not the story you're familiar with because we ruined it. As I said, Taron Egerton was fine. He leaves this film miraculously unscathed. The rest of the cast, though, what were they doing? Jamie Foxx stars as Little John, and they have a little bit more of a backstory into who Little John is and the relationship that he has with Robin. But he spends every single minute that he's on screen looking so pissed off, like someone on the very first day took a poo in his cereal, and now he's just not forgiven them. He just spends his time walking around going, I'm going to train you, Robin. <laughs> what? what is this voice? I'm going to train you. I'm going to train you, Robin. I'm going to help you steal from the rich and give to the poor. I can just imagine someone like handing him a bit of birthday cake and him going, Oh, thank you very much for this birthday cake. It is delicious. <laughs> This movie's so bad. I mean, <laughs> just just lighten up a little. Have a Snickers. Ben Mendelsohn also appears as the sharing of Nottingham, and I guess the director just told him, "I want you to shout every single one of your lines." Either that, or uh, Ben, if you're watching this, not that he would be watching this, but Ben, if you are watching this, are you okay? Like, you you you're very angry in this film. Is everything all right? Uh, reach out. <laughs> I'm sure someone's there. I've got, I've got some throat lozenges if you want some. The, the movie is also horrendously written. The characters make some of the dumbest decisions ever and lack any common sense. Like, in one scene, this character has just been decapitated. And another character runs over to them and is like, Oh, are you okay? <laughs> now, I'm no doctor. But this man no longer possesses a head. I'm pretty sure he's less than okay. But the biggest problem with Robin Hood is that it is missing one vital component that makes Robin Hood work. No, not Brian Adams. Fun. This movie just isn't fun. The action is just borderline incomprehensible. It's a real challenge to understand what the hell is going on half the time. And I hate to be one of those snooty people looking down at an action film going, Oh yes, the editing and cinematography was diabolical. But when you shoot an action scene that cuts every single second, no one can make heads or tails of who's who, where everyone is, 
who's dead, who's alive, and then when the action scenes aren't being edited by someone with the attention of a millisecond, we get everything happening in super slow-mo. And then it speeds back up again before we hit another period of super slow-mo. <laughs> Robin Hood really is just a complete mess. It's sloppily written, directed by someone who saw 2014's Ben-Hur and last year's King Arthur and thought, yes, those are the quality films that I want to make. And the funniest thing is, it sets itself up for a sequel. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It thinks it's getting a sequel. I'm going to give Robin Hood a 3 out of 10. And believe me, that's being generous. So that's my review of Robin Hood. If you've seen it, let me know what you think about it. Also, I wanna know what your favorite incarnation of Robin Hood is. Please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Links to my Facebook and Twitter are in the description below. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video.